Hey guys, it's Jana from Ballerinas by Night. A few weeks ago, I went to an adult ballet intensive called Art Emotion. It was a week-long intensive with all-day dancing hosted by Allison DeBona and Rex Tilton. It was held at the Ballet West Studios in Salt Lake City. It was an amazing week. It was a very challenging week physically and I learned quite a bit. So I wanted to take some time to share with you some of the things that I learned that week. These are some technique tips that really stood out to me. Of course, I learned much more than this um, that week and these are all just ballet tips as well. So I've got maybe five or six tips, um, some center, some bar, and then a couple point things that I'll do at the end. Okay, so one of my first tips that I was given, this was given to us as a class, but Allison was talking about initiating your attitude derriere. I've always heard like, knee back, lift the knee back, all of that. But she said, think about initiating it with your inner thigh. And I felt like way more turned out and I felt more um, secure in holding my placement from that tip. So before I would like go like this and then sort of like lift my knee and get into it this way but that gets into this like lifting the hip kind of territory but if you think about like the inner thigh initiating it it like stays in its place um so yeah it just like feels good like your muscles are activated correctly okay kind of heading back to the beginning of class uh, this was recommended by allison and i think emily adams also recommended the same thing there was a lot of like easing our bodies into turnout at the beginning of class so like we would always start in first or even start in parallel but a lot of the teachers didn't we would do first we would do second we would do fourth sometimes we wouldn't do fourth to start class and then allison also recommended starting in third like in your in your uh plie at the beginning of class just not even going to fifth yet because like you want to give your joints and your muscles some time to warm up and really find your rotation and then come into fifth for like degages or something. So I found that like really interesting that, you know, as professionals, they can make these decisions about their bodies. And I know sometimes it's harder for us as adults in class if we're told do uh, plies, first, second, fourth, fifth. You know, a lot of times if I've even, because I've had knee issues, sometimes I will keep my fifth, not quite like more than third, but I will keep it a little bit open just for the sake of my knees being able to stay over my toes because I pronate naturally um, but a lot of times when I do that I'm corrected to then pull my fifth completely over Mark will get down look at who is trying to get in the shot are you trying to mess up the video I'm not messing it up mom I'm making it better so I really enjoyed that the idea of not going to fifth immediately if you have the ability to like structure your plies or whatever as you want in class um, and you've got knee issues, hip issues, just joint pain in general, that might be um, a good thing to help you know ease your body into classwork. Okay, this is another like minor correction. Um, I hope these aren't like boring, but these are just things that like little things that just really like stood out to me. Um, so in the very first class when we were doing um, at bar, we did Porter Broad toward the bar and port de bras away from the bar. Adrian Fry was teaching our class and he was talking about like at the point at which like you know when you're moving your arm like your your wrist leaves your hand but like I don't think I'm totally in frame doing this so I'm gonna squat like this. Um, so if you're doing it like this like at some point your hand has to like turn here because you don't want to do your whole port de bras like this and then turn it at the end which I think I do sometimes because I just the wrist stuff was very big when I was learning young, when I was younger, the wrist leading stuff. So that's, I don't know, that's just like something I have to work on. But he was saying like to get to about here and then turn it when you get above your head and then it's like leaning you the rest of the way in. Can you see that? Do I have enough space? Here and here. Here. I hope that that's showing up in the whole frame. <laughs> it may not be. But yeah, basically you want to like, you're leaning with the wrist, but then you're also, it turns at the top of the head to guide you to the rest of the bend over. 
little minor thing, but you know, all those little minor details are the things that really clean up your dancing and take it from like just being able to do the movements to like a full understanding of your movement. Okay, this is another Allison tip. She was just chuck full of these like little tricks, I guess you could say. Um, this is about Ponche. I am not really warmed up enough to show you a full Ponche, but um, hopefully I can um, give you the gist of what it is she was trying to say. So, you know, like naturally, um, I guess just like physically, if you're gonna hinge forward, you can only go so far keeping your hips square. Like this hip is gonna have to open up in order for me to like get my leg even higher. So she basically she was saying you have permission to open your hip, but like get it as far as you can with your hips square. So let's see if I can do this. I'm not warmed up again, guys. So if I'm here, I'm gonna go. And then at some point I'm gonna have to open up my hip um, to get my full extension out there. Let's see if I go this way maybe. Not sure how that's looking on camera, if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, like basically it's gonna be okay to open up your hip to get the rest of that extension. Because if you stay like this, like there's only so far you can go before you have to open it up. But you don't want to turn your arabesque into like starfish. You know what I mean? So just for the ponche. Okay, last tip on in the flat shoes, I'm gonna put on some point shoes and show you a couple things. So on the very last day of class, we had Alex McFarlane teaching technique and I was so tired <laughs> this day. I was like, I just don't even want to take class. And it was probably my favorite class of the whole week. Um, I really just appreciated that he, like obviously you want your technique to be correct, but like he was really just, he wanted us to just move and just like be really big with our port bra and like just really dive in for things and um, it just felt really good to just dance. Like that's the whole reason we do all of it, right? So, and I think a lot of times I just, I hold myself back in class from dancing like that because I don't know, in adult class we just don't tend to push like that, at least the ones that I go to, but um, anyway, so in particular we did in the center, it was just, you know, tondu, tondu, and normally I would just, you know, add a little bit of a head, head, but he was like, I want you to lean your body, so we were like, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, you know, it was just like, gigantic I can't remember I think we did like a forte or something and we came out of it to balance it and he was like I literally want you to be like to the ground you know so I mean that really like takes that's like another level of stamina and physique and strength because like if you're just tombe pas de bre, but you go like tombe pas de bre, like that's a whole different way of dancing and ultimately I think that's where you want to be because that's that's the juicy like enjoyment stuff so I really appreciated having like the environment to be pushed in that way especially on the sixth day when I felt like I had like a foundation that I'd worked on all week and then I could just take it and like add to the grandness of it so I challenge you in your next class to try to just make your porta bra really big even at the bar like you're gonna be like I mean, and that's that small still. <laughs> make your arms like, make your whole body like move together. So yeah, give it a try and see how it feels. Okay, so a couple of point tips real quickly. My lawn people just got here, so they're gonna be like mowing and it's gonna be really loud in a second. Um, so, okay, in point class with Allison, we were doing just some like heavy strength building stuff at the bar. And one of which included coupe, one-legged coupe elevés, like not plie up, but straight leg up. Um, that stuff's hard if you weren't aware. So but yeah, she came over and I was really struggling to get over my left leg. Like I just couldn't do it without pleing. So she came over and literally pulled my hips like all the way over. Like you've gotta be so far over 
your toes and then push up that way. And she was also saying that it's okay to like really press down on the bar if you're at a place where you can't. This is just for strength building, it's not to like look pretty. So it's okay to like press up so that you can at least get the sensation of what you're supposed to be doing versus just like never having the strength to do it. So, but like pushing the hip all the way over was huge for me. Like that's, I wasn't engaging my hamstrings at all. I could do it on the right side just cause my like right leg is stronger. But anyway, so if you're doing stuff like that at the bar, like she was saying, yeah, it's okay to really like push the bar away. And I know that like, that's probably controversial cause I've never really heard that. Like I've always heard like you want to try to like press the bar away, but you want to try to keep as few fingers on it as possible. So that was new for me hearing that like, it's okay to be like, <laughs> if you can't get all the way up there. So, you know, I can see both sides of it. Okay. So we were also working on just like retro rays on point and facing the bar. So like our sides were facing the mirror and we would look and it was like, everything was sickle. I don't know if you can see that from this camera angle, but it was like a simple trick of like, just think about your pinky toe staying connected to your leg and you won't sickle. And it was like instantly fixed. If you can even see that. So obviously that is not just a point tip. That is a everywhere tip. Okay. So another strength building alignment thing that Allison talked about at the bar, when you're doing just like parallel releves, she said to imagine there's like a piece of paper in between your angles and you're trying to keep it together. And that like engages a whole new set of muscles. I guess it keeps you from like sickling on point. I'm trying to think, I mean, it definitely just engages like all like the inner arch muscles and the ankle muscle, like, but even when you're like in second and doing it, you want to think about the same thing. Markle. So yeah, it's that same action of like, I guess basically it's like, um, helping you keep your weight more on your first three toes and then like, yeah, sitting back and your pinky toes. But I mean, it's like instant muscle burn. <laughs> when I did that, I was like, holy cow, like my like inner ankles, like all of that just felt like instantly stronger. Okay. That was it for, um, point stuff that I wanted to share. I think there's like a ton more stuff that we worked on, but it's like detailed kind of stuff. But I did want to talk about how Adrian was saying in one of our first classes, when we were doing combinations across the floor, we had a pirouette and he just kept saying like, don't linger in the pirouette. And I think we do. We spend a lot of time being like, and da, 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 da. and he was like, just like get there and don't, like, don't spend a lot of time just like thinking about it real hard. Um, and I realized there's like a balance to this, you know, cause like you've got to be in a place where <laughs> you feel like you know what you're doing enough to not have to think about it and just go. Um, but those of us that were in that class at that level, were at a place where, you know, we should be able to do that. So, so yeah, mostly just like, if you're going to like step up and go. And don't think about it for too long. I shouldn't be showing you this in my point shoes because that's, <laughs> I'm going to overthink the crap out of this, but like step up and go. I'm not going to turn them either because I'm also just not mentally prepared for that right now. Um, but you get the idea. So, okay. Just in time, I'm, my lawn is about to get mowed and, um, so I'm going to say my goodbyes. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've done a technique tips kind of video. Let me know if there's anything specific that you want me to talk about or if you want Abby to talk about anything specific in terms of technique. If you haven't seen my vlog from my week at Art of Motion, I did vlog the week as best I could. <laughs> there was so much I didn't share, but I will have the video linked in the card here, here. I do this every time. It'll be linked in the description below. If you guys aren't following us here on YouTube, please subscribe and hit the bell or something is what I'm supposed to say um, to get notified when we have new videos. 
Um, we are here to create content for all dancers of all ages, all body types, um, all levels. So um, if you enjoy this and you want to see more, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.